I promised you guys that I would set up some solar panels and find out if I could get an air conditioner to start off of this Solar City 6 kilowatt inverter. This thing is a, uh, it's an on-grid inverter, but it has an islanding feature and it has an input for a power wall from Tesla, but that's deprecated because it's a 480 volt DC input. But even without a power wall, even without a battery, you can still connect a bunch of solar, like these eight 305 watt panels I got here, run it straight into the inverter and run loads off of it. So, I mean, I guess the use case for that would be if the grid's down and you've got solar panels on your house, you can still run some loads even if they um, aren't as big as you're used to without the grid at all. At least your critical loads, like your refrigerator and maybe a window unit air conditioner and your freezer and some internet, just little things like that, right? So what we've got here is 305 watt panels and we have eight of them, that's three times eight, 24, so about 2.4 kilowatts here on the ground. These are making about 250 watts a piece when they're laid like this and it's in this condition. So eight times two and a half, eight, 16. So we're probably just under two kilowatts here that we should be generating. And I've got my 10,000 BTU air conditioner. It's running, but that's just the fan right now. The compressor has not started. And that's the big deal, right, is starting that compressor. Right now we're at 156 watts and we're waiting for that compressor to try and kick on and see if eight panels is the magic number. So bear with me for just a few minutes and we'll see if this works. Oh, that's interesting. That ain't something you see every day. All right, that didn't do it. Let's add another panel. See if that's enough. All right, so we're up to a two and a half kilowatts. That's actual. These are generating about 250 watts right now out in full sun. They're 305 watt panels. So this is two and a half kilowatts worth of energy. I guess what we're probably running into here is I need enough panels to uh, handle the complete surge capacity of that compressor when it kicks on. Because there is no amount of, oh, just pull a little extra off the batteries in order to get it started. This is like, you just have the amperage you got. So if each of these are at, you know, eight and a half amps, eight amps, um, we're up at 370 voltage, I think, somewhere in that range. Um, it doesn't really matter, right? It's just, can the inverter do it? I don't know if you can have capacitors in there that makes it a little better. I've heard that grid tie inverters don't have the surge capacity that off-grid inverters do. Because I can start this air conditioner on a 1500 watt uh, off-grid inverter, a little Ames 48 volt inverter, but it has the option of pulling a little extra juice from the DC side. When you have a solar panel, you got the juice you got. There, there is no pulling extra off of it. So unless they specifically threw some caps into the uh, this grid tie inverter, you ain't, you ain't gonna get it. So anyway, two and a half kilowatts. Let's see what that does. Oh people, oh people. We are pulling 1,060 watts off of this array. Let's see what we've got on our amp meter. 3.4 amps out of the, there's there are probably about eight amps available. And look at this, look at this. We have cold, I realize y'all can't feel that. We have cold air coming out of this compressor. And for those that don't believe me, here's the cord. Running to this extension cord. Not that you wouldn't believe me. And running right here into the inverter. Here's our kilowatt. Let's see what that shows. We're also showing 1064, 1092. Pretty close. That's pretty cool. So there you have it, people. I have a $660 inverter that can do off-grid without a battery, which I think is really cool. It's inefficient in the sense that you gotta have six, three kilowatts worth of solar to run a 1000 watt air conditioner. Now if there were resistive loads, it wouldn't be that bad. What I, what my use case is going to be, I want to install this inverter on my house and I, I could run my critical loads panel with maybe a plug for an air conditioner, like a window unit, um, or even my downstairs. My downstairs chiller is an inverter drive. 
And so it would actually run, I need to run that on this. It would actually run better than this AC compressor because it would ramp up and it's a max of 2.4 kilowatts. So that would be perfect. I could run that on my critical loads panel and still have downstairs air conditioning when the sun's shining and there's no grid power. And I don't have to have a battery. I'd still have to figure out what to do overnight and that's fine, but this is cool. This is what I wanted to find out with this inverter. So still plan to use this as a grid tie inverter for the most part, but it, the, the islanding feature is cool and I wanted to see what the, what the capacity really was. Well, basically I have three kilowatts with the panels. They're making about two and a half kilowatts with the way the sun's shining, how hot the panels are, you know, the way it is working today in this environment, two and a half kilowatts, that was able to start a 1,050 watt AC compressor that's a 10,000 BTU window unit, which is not a horribly efficient um, unit. If you had an inverter drive, you have a, a mini split system that's inverter drive, it would work even better. Anyway, let me know if there's something else I should test on this inverter. I've got some other ideas knocking around in my mind but that's what I got for today. You guys have a blessed one and I'll see you next time.